Good morning, guys. Welcome to another gorgeous day. Let's just hope today is warmer. There was no frost on the ground. Oh, there's frost on the ground. <laughs> Hopefully there's no ice everywhere. The boy goats moved this pool over here. They moved it over here themselves. Like they just, I don't even know how they did it. They turned it upside down and made it into a bed so that they can lay beside their friends. But good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. So much going on. I feel like I hardly slept. I feel like... My days are running into each other because so much is happening. But life is like that. Nothing, 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 especially through the winter. And then poof, everything has exploded and you're so busy. We have been really good this time, keeping the boys away from the girls. And Winston's successfully, successfully been away from his mom for almost two weeks now. We do do supervised visits where he can nurse on her once a day. So I'm only milking once a day, letting him have the milk the other time. But yesterday, I don't know what happened. It was a big fail. We came down and they were laying together in Blossom's field, cuddled up, so happy to be together and all her milk was gone. <laughs> so we're gonna have to work on that today. We're always working on fences with the goats. But you guys, we had the most incredible night last night trying a horse and I can't wait to tell you guys about it. She always goes to her milk. She's like, I want that milk. They all want the milk. Even more milk than normal today. There's a lot of milk in there. There's little tiny hairs in there, but I filter the milk and I filter it two times to make sure that it's good before I put it in the fridge. Anyway, we gotta go because I wanna be up there when Gabby leaves for school today. All right, you guys. This is the day we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna get a picture of Gabby standing in front of her car. She's going to school, driving herself all alone. Text me when you get there. She's gonna get coffee. So we gave her money for her birthday so that she can buy gas. Washed her car. Washed her, we gave her a car wash. We bought her gas because she's gonna need a lot of gas for the next months. All right. Yeah, it's frost, Gabby, it's okay. Gabby's very particular about her car. Just lean up against it like you did, yeah. Okay, three, three, like two. It. Yeah, three, two, yeah. one. Okay, good. All right, it looks shiny. So this is her car. She's taking it to high school. All right, no speeding. No speeding. <laughs> Are you nervous? She looks like she, I remember, hey, Ellie. I remember the feeling of not knowing like what to do. Ellie. Let's do a little tour of the inside. This is Gabby's car, you guys. Ellie. Get out. Unlike mine and Sam's cars, which are dirty, she has like special cleaning stuff in here. She keeps her car a super clean. All right, bye Gabs. Have a good day. Molly, you can't go. She's leaving extra early so she can figure out how long it's gonna take her to get there. We got her all hooked up with insurance. Molly's like, please can I come? But uh, Molly and her will be like in her car a lot together, I feel like. Got her phone all hooked up there. Taking off her coat. Molly goes in my car. What? Molly normally goes in Yeah, she's used to going in her car. When Gabby's going someplace, Molly goes someplace. I don't have covers on my seat right now. You don't have covers on your seat? Yeah. All right, come on, Molly. Bye, Gabby. We love you. Be safe. It's her first day of the rest of her life. No. See what I mean? How, like, if Gabby and Sam are outside, then Molly's outside. The dogs know who they want to go out with. Ellie. Oh, there she goes. And if you I sometimes get comments saying like you guys have changed I miss the old you and I get it like I watch people who I've been watching for a long time and they've their content has changed because kids grow up and families change and a life without change would be awful but I know the feeling of that loss like I miss so much of what I used to love but anyways where are you going where are you going I'm gonna follow her. <laughs> are you really sure are you really are you really <laughs> Anyways, we trust her. She's so serious. She would never do something stupid. But yesterday I was thinking about like, we've had such a good ride. Like such a good ride. Like I was looking at pictures of Gabby, like it was her birthday. I was looking up pictures of her and, and the life, the, 
she had like growing up was amazing she had such amazing experiences she got two amazing horses dream horses for her and she loved them with her whole heart and just getting that and going through that whole experience having her coaches she has such a good relationship with the coaches that she had throughout this whole journey like she loves them like their family she got a custom saddle which is like she still has so much pride over her saddle like getting a custom saddle is almost like getting a horse like it's it's I don't even know how to explain it it's like so special it's such a so so special because it's connected to like the horse that you love and then you get this amazing saddle made just for them like she had so many incredible experiences with riding she was champion in so many shows he did amazing at his first rated show Chino did like she had such a good ride and now she's 17 and getting ready for university which takes a lot of time a lot of energy or her at her focus has changed and it's sad it's the most sad for me but you just gotta go with it and you just gotta let them grow and now she's driving and she's traded her horses for, for a car and and horses are more like kind of a backseat hobby instead of her whole life and that's just a process and I believe she'll come back to a time when horses are her whole life because that tends to be like how you progress in life when I was a teenager I barely even pet our family dog like I didn't have anything to do with animals even though I did like them I was just too busy focused on so many other things and then as I got older I didn't even have a dog for years and years and years the first time I got a dog was when when I was 30 anyway life changes they grow up so fast but it's been such a good run on to the whole milk experience I have literally learned to love goat's milk. And I drink like two cups of it every single day. They say that goat milk is actually really healing to your gut. It can like even help heal leaky gut syndrome, which is a huge deal. I have a ton of baby stuff all around my house because I have to take it to my son. So this is a swing that I got for him uh, because he's having a baby, they're having a baby. Um, and then my friend gave me this little bath thing. So I have stuff all over that I've been collecting for them. But over here in incubator news, <laughs> giving you guys all an update. We added a new eggs to our incubator yesterday. You guys know I have my turkey eggs in here. And then last night we, or we, we put in six guinea eggs. They look just like turkey eggs though. Same color almost, same <laughs> spotted. So we have six guinea eggs, six turkey eggs, 12 eggs in the incubator. The thing about having the incubator filled is that it's like having new pets on your farm even though they haven't hatched yet. It really is. It's like having those babies and getting them to grow up with you is so special. Like we love that. That's something that Sophia are really into. So uh, we've decided that we're going to start hatching our chicken eggs in the fall, like October, November, December or November, December, January, I don't know, October, November, December maybe, and have all of our chickens to sell. So we sold a lot of chickens this year already. Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, but we're gonna hatch these guys this spring. We're gonna have turkeys. I'm so excited to share with you the turkey experience. You guys got to see what having a pig is like. They are just like such amazing bonded little pigs. Um, and now you're gonna see that turkeys are kind of the same. Okay, so. You might be wondering why. <laughs> you might be wondering why the animals are in here today. <laughs> so Sam's preparing to rip all this amazing aw food up. You should give her a brush. Because she is looking pretty dirty. She laid down in pee, it looks like. Oh my gosh, she'll be you gotta brush her. Let's go take her and get her a brush. We've lost the chicken eggs again. We're only getting like seven a day. Have they been jumping in there? Nope. All right, we're gonna need this. Okay. Come on, princess. Correction, she laid in mud. She's like, I'll follow you anywhere, Sophie. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> She's a Sia. Go get a brush and we'll brush her. Oh, hello, Storm. No, that's Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi, Storm. Anyways, so. I was thinking like we've I, I wanted to update you guys on Sophie's new horse shopping situation I literally watch this pony 
this mini follow Sophie. She just went into the other room and she ran along that fence line and she was like going with her even if she couldn't go with her. Sophie's gonna brush her pony and I thought we would update you on everything that's happening because some stuff is happening. You guys know Sophie tried another horse last night. It's a mare and I told you it's not exactly what she wanted and it's not exactly what she wanted. Is it exactly what you wanted? No, it's everything I didn't want. Seems like we always start every horse buying video with it's everything we didn't want, but no, it's a lot of things we wanted. We wanted a certain age range and she's that. We wanted a level of broke and she's that. She's very broke. How are her grand, ground manners? Good, she walks fast. She has perfect ground manners. She's forward. So um, she's forward, meaning like she's into it and she goes, she moves. She's not lazy, I guess that's it. Cause she's not forward in that she's so fast. She, anyway, Sophie rode her and the whole time she was riding her, she was freaking out because everything that she did on her was so easy. The horse made Sophie so confident. Like, were you nervous when you were gonna go try her? Cause she was gonna ride her in the outdoor arena. I was excited. You were excited? Um, well, anyways, she, was so confident riding this horse everything that so she even cantered her like so fast like they said like okay take her for a canter after the jump and Sophie's like okay and she just cantered her cantered her so anyway she's everything Sophie wanted in terms of like she doesn't want a lazy horse she wants a agreeable horse this horse had its ears forward the whole entire time I've never seen a horse so easy going and then I dream I don't know if this is the horse that I saw in my dreams but there was this second so the horse that I saw in my dreams, I know that that horse is, has like a silly side, like has a goofy side. And this horse, there was this one minute, like she's so serious, like never would misbehave, always looking around to see what everybody else is doing. Like she's just very aware, she's alert. And her ears are pinned forward the whole time. Like she's just such an agreeable, easygoing horse. You can be sassy, but you can't be that sassy. I can't remember what I was saying now, but anyways, she is such like Sophie loved her the whole time she was riding her I was like how do you feel and she's like I love her everything about her like she's just so easy a little kids rider like little little kids rider what she needs is she uh, has a high head carriage and it's because of what she did before she yeah she is dead broke for riding and she's dead broke for driving so she can do both and she's just done a lot of driving so her head her head carriage is really high she needs some exercises in relaxation so that's something that if we buy her you guys will see that she needs to relax but that will just come with time so if he's so confident on her uh, she's she's a Clydesdale cross um, so she's bigger she doesn't have any shoes she actually had shoes on but recently come off and she still was sound and not sore at all um, she had the shoes on for driving but her feet are gorgeous we had farrier look at her feet and said that she absolutely does not need shoes uh they're just they were just on she had four on and she had them on for driving but i looked at her feet too and her feet are gorgeous big huge clydesdale horse horse feet but like so much concavity and like just really nice the nicest horse feet that i've ever seen <laughs> so oh almost so close so <laughs> Yeah, she's down. Good girl. Sophie tried to ask her to lay down. <laughs> she did, but she pretty much laid on top of Sophie. <laughs> well, I did it though. And she was happy. You need treats. Is that the first time she's ever done it? No, second time. Wow, good girl. I like no pony. <laughs> I had to jump out of the way and I couldn't. <laughs> so she basically, good thing she's light. She basically like laid down on Sophie. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's adorable. She's staring at me with her eyes so wide. Good girl, you want me to go get treats? Cause that's so good that she, you got her to do it. Okay. Sophie's been working on this for so long. It's cause I sat with her that one time. If anything deserves a treat, that's it. But anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this stuff about this horse is because we're negotiating a trial run with her. Um, you guys know that we want to do like a lease, but not like a typical lease. We want to do the kind of lease that is like, let us pay you to try her for a few months so that we can decide later. Because trust me, <laughs> buying horses is scary for me. 
So that's the best situation for us. So anyway, we're like negotiating with them and we're probably gonna get this horse. Here. And her ears were foreign and her Willow thought foreign. something happened to Honey. She can't get her to do it now. As soon as she got the treat, see, I, I messed it up. Anyway, I have some footage of her riding her. It's not our horse yet, so I'm not going to put the video, but I'll try and put the audio here. If I have any audio of me, uh, like, asking her, how do you feel? And Sophie was, like, just amazed. She loved her. So I'm just going to leave it up to God and let God decide. She needs, so she didn't do a lot this winter. Like a lot of horses in Canada, she needs more muscle again. Like she needs to be built back up and brought up slowly again. Uh, just like Stormy Boy. But she's safe, safe, safe. Safe, like triple safe. And she's not lazy. Ow. And she's got an incredible personality. Which is such a huge thing. Like it's no, actually such a huge thing. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?